approach is Jim Techbo's new projector into review, and it's from Wambo, one of several which they have on their store. They're quite a few. And this has got autofocus, five two watt speakers. Two five watt speakers, I say, dual band Wi-Fi 6, anti-dust design, full glass lens, and low noise. And you've got Freedom Unlimited on one side there, and Joy the Unlimited there, smart projector for creative people, and our social media handles there. And this is the model number Wanbo projector WPA23. And we're going to have a look at it now and tell you all about it. It also goes under the Wanbo X2 Max name as well. But we'll leave a link below to where you can pick her up and check her out. So let's get it out of the box firstly and have a gander. So they've got a little statement written inside there. So you want to pause that and read it, you can. So let's take it out. First up, we get a little manual inside. And then we will get the main unit, which isn't as big looking as the box might show. You also get remote control, quite generic. And you get your power cable here. So this remote control is similar to a couple of projectors I have here. And that's it there. Nice and simple to use. And no batteries included. But we have some here. And here is the projector itself. So it's not too big. There's my iPhone 14 Pro. Just to show you. The 15 Pro to say what it's like in size. You see it's got some protective plastic on the lens there. It's good. You've got feet on the bottom. You can mount on a tripod as well. And in here is an anti-dust filter. So you can fix that up. You've got these grill on the side for heat dissipation and your speakers I presume. Power input there, USB, HDMI, HDMI, AV, earphones, you've got an IR on it as well and designed by Wambo there. And that's looking like a power key up on top. And that's pretty much what it looks like at first out of the box. So we're going to run over the specs quickly. Um, as there's quite a few, you've got a 1080p physical resolution. 2 by 5 watt speakers and you've got noise decibel of 35 decibels so that's the noise of the speaker when it's in action you have a flagship chip Android 9 dual 6 wi-fi and you've got autofocus as well with dust design which is pretty good and you've got three layers of high transmittance glass optical lens so you've got high brightness dust proof design with strong heat dissipation on that as well and you have got 1080p AI image quality and you've got 450 ANSI. So there are two, the 1080p and the 450 ANSI are two numbers you need to watch out for when you're looking at projectors and that kind of stuff. So you've got three different trolls as well. You can go up to 3.6 meters, 1.2, 3 and 3.6. So you can put it on any wall basically, the bigger the wall the better. I always say with these. It also comes in dark blue as well. And you've got 3D surround sound, dynamic bass enhanced, Bluetooth 5.0, and of course a Bluetooth speaker built in as well. So that's all sounding pretty good. And let's check it out after the break. So we're going to take her off, test it up, and see what it's like. You can also cast to it as well with Miracast, AirPlay, and eShare. And it'll work with your computer as well, Windows or Mac OS. So you can plug in your computer or laptop as well. And that's pretty much it. So you get a star on it as well with lots of stuff. And you have to check out what that is and see what kind of stuff there is there. And they will not allow you to mirror certain things that you to copyright protection. But you know yourself, there's ways around all that kind of stuff there too. And that's pretty much it. So we'll get into it and see what it's all about. And how the picture comes across and how it sounds as well, which is of course important when you're testing projectors. And overall the physical size isn't too big in comparison to some other projectors. 
that we've tested in the past we've tested quite a few but you've got your ios there which is plentiful if usb double two hdmi parts which is cool your av so you plug your headphones in there as well and your audio visual cable too of course your ir there for your remote control so we're going to get it set up and take you to through what it looks like and all that kind of stuff and how it sounds and you can judge yourself then what it looks like and we'll give you our opinion of course as well but overall it's a nice looking solid product at the first look out of the box so stay tuned after the break for the rest hello it's jim and we're back we've just got this set up put all our information into it so we're ready to go before we set it up onto the wall and show you all about it so we're going to go through the remote control first which is here you've got your on and off key here this is a mouse for android and this is a multi-function key here we've got your diagonal option here which will basically just give you arrow keys left right up and down and enter and so on and you've got a settings button here mute button volume up and down home key back key and a focus key you can hear the noise off it there that's why i've done it here now so you can hear it just so you can hear it first hand and if you check the focus if i move it you can see auto focus in there going in and out and the autofocus works really well um from just having a quick test before we came to here so you've got all that stuff inside we've registered up our account and all and we're going to test it out just to give you a listen again to the noise it's not too loud compared to others i've tested you can see you get good heat dissipation here and of course these also act as your speaker as well and remember you can mount it so we just even pop it onto here it might give us a picture on the wall. It's probably too small or too near it. But you can see it trying to autofocus there itself. But we're too close to the wall, so. But you have an idea, you can see it there trying to autofocus again. And just, that'll just do it itself. You don't need to do anything, it'll find it for you. And of course, you can correct it if you need to do so with the settings that will pop up on screen. So next up, we're going to show you all that, show you what it looks like. The picture is the sound, the settings that are in it, and what you can expect to get from this projector. Okay, so it's time to test this now. I was going to power it up and let it start up there and show you what it's like from its initial start up to autofocus in itself, so you can get a general gist of what's going to happen, which is pretty cool. And we have a nice wall to project onto our white screen. This is the wall I typically have my projector on. So you can just watch this now and see it start up and we can get going and give you some samples now the speaker mode is built in on this now you won't find it on the settings which we're going to go through now it's actually on the close down option which we'll show you now in a second so here's the auto focus now so it's focused and aligned itself there so you press the power off key, you'll see here it'll go over on the speaker mode and call out, which is pretty good. So you press on the speaker mode. Enter speaker mode. You'll see there what happens there. So you can just get over then by pressing over. So what we'll Exit do is speaker mode. we'll show you the menus. This is your home screen here. What it looks like and you can see here you've got your date and time all your apps that are in there trending and so on so you get a general gist of what's going on you've got apps in here you've got video you've got music and you can scroll through all there you've youtube music there as well like what we'd have but obviously we can't play on that for copyright reasons so for apps you've got news as well so if you go on to news you can go into your news there and see what's in there and you can see them all loading up there now and let's just see if bbc will work probably won't never does in ireland So that's your news in there, and you've got screenshots. So that's just basically it there on the screenshot. 
Right, so we've got your Bluetooth settings in here. As I was mentioned earlier on, you won't find your speaker in here. See, I'd be headphones connected there. Listen to this with headphones is excellent. So you can scan your device there and pair it with anything else. So in here, then you've got a projection settings. So you've got projector mode, so you can topple this around uh, whatever way you want there as you can with most projectors today. Your gyro horizon. So you can put the projector on the level of platform and complete the connection with when clicked the OK button. So you just do that there. So you got your keystone there. So you got automatic side, manual and automatic again. Now you've got four point keys down as well. So you can adjust that by toggling up on the controls. This will just reshape it like you can see there. Bring it in and out. Which is cool. And we go back out of that and you'll see there that there you've got your motor focus and then. So this one bow Focus here is similar to XGMI if you're familiar with projectors. And you've got auto focus in there, which is on or off. So you can just turn it on or off if you want to do that. So either or is up to you. So I'm just going to put that back to where it should be. Like there. So that's all your settings in there. So you've got projection mode, gyro, gyro horizon, keystone advance, and horizon keystone. So you go back out of that menu there. You've got your application setting there, which is the media service inside. You've got about and other settings then. You've got your input sources. So you've got HDMI 1 and 2, your USB, AV, and of course you've got your Bluetooth connection as well. Your power options there, so you've got standby direct. Your schedule time down, you want to turn it on or off. So you can go up to 240 minutes. And your screen time or wait time is there as well so you just put back on to 10 your picture mode so in your picture mode you've got vivid so we'll go back up to standard you can see that picture changing so go to vivid soft computer mode now it might come across as good recording it but it's coming across really good here and then you've got your brightness settings in there, clarity, contrast, and saturation. So I always keep mine on vivid, which I find the best. It's just me. Everyone's different. So you've got your sound mode. You've got movie, sports, user, and standard news. So you've got all those options in there. And your volume control, which of course will be on the bottom there, which you can see now. So that's pretty much that there. you got your language setting, your date setting, and of course your network settings as well. And that's pretty much what you're going to find in the settings application there. And you've got a home key then, which will just bring you back home onto the home screen here. And then you can go through whatever apps that you want to go into and look at. You've also got mirror cast as well. You can cast from your phone. In here, you'll find your speaker mode as well. But it should be in the menu for Bluetooth. But I don't know why it's not there, but it's nothing big. You've got Chrome. Um, so you can use this for an internet browser as well, which is pretty cool. And of course, your mirror cast there as well. So, what we'll do now is go back to apps up here on home and we'll go into YouTube. So, what we can demo is one of my own videos, is probably the best thing to do. So, that we know copyright strikes. And we can go into my account and we'll scroll down there. We'll go into the library. So we'll check something out there. We'll go into this, for example, to give you a demo of the sound and the picture. Hello, so in Tech Boys, we've got a new product in from Geo Smart Pro. And you might remember these guys that we've done a couple of fans for. Now they've launched their first smart air fryer. Up to 8% less fat. Large so, within the YouTube app here, you can see you've got more than some kind of projectors have. You can get in. You've got on-screen um, options as well. There, you can go to the channel. You can dislike, like, comment, all that kind of stuff. Some projectors miss this feature here. 
but not this one. But that's how it's going to sound and how the picture's going to look. I'll just try and find something else. Um, because one won't be really enough, but it's just going to give me some kind of sample there. That won't get me in trouble with YouTube. And then we'll give you some sound samples then. So you can put, connect your console to this as well, if you have any. And gaming is pretty cool, of course, if you want it on the bigger screen. And we'll go back down to the library. And we'll go to, actually, down here. We'll go into that one there, just give you a little sample of that. It's Jim back with the Emporia, the latest device from them, which comes this nice core case you would have seen the unboxing. We're going to go through the setup process now and show you what it's all about. And here you've got Start Emporia. And that's it for the visual audio. We're going to give you some sound samples now using that as a Bluetooth speaker. So, as you can see there, I'm connected now with my device and I'm connected with my Galaxy Z Flip 5, which my tracks are on. I'm going to give you some samples now. So you do get some nice images coming up there, like you can see there, which is nice. But no actual live images or anything like that. It was pretty good stereo coming out of this. Um, I hope the phone picks it up. Pixel 8 Pro, by the way, I'm recording on. But it's nice and loud, nice and clear. Not tinny, not fuzzy, no distortion. Excellent. pretty much it what to expect excellent speaker or excellent speaker sound good projection 
picture. You've got a lot of settings on it there. There's some miss out on. Overall, in general, you can't really go wrong for the price. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you soon.